Hi, I'm Allie. I'm Chuck. And we're Allie Chuck Adventures. Yep, we are RV enthusiasts and we love to travel and spend time in our RV. And this week we're going to take you and show you five of our favorite places that we've visited so far in the state of Georgia. Yeah, I'm a Georgia girl, so uh, we wanted to share some of our favorite spots. Yep. So if you're new to our channel, we'd appreciate if you would take a moment and hit that subscribe button. And ring that bell notification. The first park we're looking at here is going to be Kolomoki Mounds State Park. We booked this around the first of the year for a March uh, spring break trip. The reason I booked here was it looked like it was fairly close to Providence Canyon State Park, which is the park we really wanted to uh, check out. As it turns out, it was about a 45 minute drive, but we did find that it was very, very interesting park and we really enjoyed this park a lot and the history that it provided here with uh, the Indian mounds. As you're looking at here, you can see uh, this is the biggest mound and this was supposed to be the ceremonial mound. And they also believed that the chief priest had a residence at the top of this mound. So that was really cool learning the history here and the park itself was really great. It had a nice, really nice playground. It had access to uh, the lake and the beach. You could do some uh, boating, some kayaking, some canoeing, some swimming. There were some signs up saying beware that there could be alligators present. They also had a really nice little putt-putt golf course here. You could rent the putter and some golf balls up at the office. Another cool thing here is that in the office they actually had a half excavated mound that you could literally take a tour, pay a little price, and go through this excavated mound and see just how it was constructed. And they also had a little film that ran, giving you a little history on the Kolomoki Mounds and the Indians that lived here. And the museum had quite a few artifacts and displays showing uh, just a lot of the things that you, they found here in the mounds, such as arrowheads and pottery and just a lot of uh, a lot of cool history here. So if you're into history, this would be a, definitely a park that you would want to check out. Another one of our favorites is Savannah, Georgia, and here we've stayed in a couple different RV parks since we've been RVing. One being Skidaway Island State Park, which you're looking at now. Now this is a state park and we are very much in love with state parks and this one is no exception it was really nice and another park that we've stayed at while we've uh, camped here in savannah has been redgate campground now redgate campground is really unique in the fact that it's a farm as well so not only can you camp here but you can visit horses and they have goats and different farm animals adjacent to the RV park and I will say that the people at Redgate Campground are very super friendly. Savannah is another one of these towns that we love for the history and just the overall vibe kind of like the way we like St. Augustine and its history here in Florida. A couple places that we really like checking out when we're there is the Wormslow Plantation and of course the Bonaventure Cemetery. There was a few famous people who lived here, like Johnny Mercer, who wrote several songs like Jeepers Creepers, and uh, he's buried in Bonaventure Cemetery, which we'll see. But uh, the old downtown district of Savannah and its River Street, if you like dining and dog-friendly places, there's plenty of dog-friendly places. We actually spent New Year's Eve here in 2016 and watched the uh, cup rise. That scared Nikki a little bit, our dog, because of the uh, fireworks that uh, they were shooting off across the river. But it was really cool. There was a lot of people 
lined up on that street to, to ring in the new year. So it's a good place to ring in the new year. Also, Bonaventure Cemetery, if you've never been to Savannah, is something you would definitely want to check out. And if you know the movie Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, well, there were some scenes that were actually filmed from that movie here in the cemetery. And also, there's some famous grave sites here like Little Gracie and Johnny Mercer and a few others. The third place we want to show you here is Allie's, basically it's Allie's hometown, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Now Stone Mountain Park here is obviously a pretty famous attraction, but the campground here is also just amazing. One of our favorite campgrounds actually in Georgia that we've stayed at. A lot of lake view fronts and we've stayed there a couple times in the fall when the leaves are just in full color and it's just absolutely gorgeous. They have a lot of things to do in the park as well as some like tours like here where you can uh, go and see the history of Stone Mountain and how the granite has been used in places all over the world that has been uh, quarried from here. It's very interesting to, to go and see all these old pictures and, and read about just where all this granite has ended up over the years. The cool thing is they have a gondola that you can take all the way to the top if you don't care to hike all the way to the top. I have yet to actually get to ride this thing because it's not dog friendly and we always have Nikki with us. Allie has been on it several times though. Another cool thing here that they have in the park is they've actually brought in some old buildings from other towns like LJ, Georgia. And this is one of them here. It was an old grist mill. Very interesting. They also have a train you can ride all the way around the mountain and we've done that. There's a lot of good hiking here. On They have several different hiking trails and we've actually hiked up the, the back side of the mountain. Not all the way, but a good ways up and uh, hiked up there with Nikki and had a picnic. And that is one thing that dogs are not allowed on the main hiking trail up the mountain on the front side. But we love Stone Mountain Park and we always, uh, we always end up camping there when we go back to see Allie's mom. And Helen is obviously one of our super favorite places to visit as this October will make our fourth time RV camping here. We already have a trip set up. We've camped and stayed at Yona Mountain Campground here once before and we will be staying there in October this year. We've stayed at Cherokee Campground a couple times and we actually tried to get in there again for this October, but they were already booked solid unfortunately. You have to book fairly early as Oktoberfest runs in Helen from September through October and it's a very very busy time for them. As Helen you can see is a German based town. It's not really a German town. The history behind that is that they it was a logging town that was dying and the city council and commissioners came up with an idea to bring tourism in so they made it into a German Alpine village. But they do celebrate Oktoberfest in full swing for the months of September and October. And that is always a fun time. One of the main reasons we actually like going to Helen is we love all the hiking that is near there and around there. There's all kinds of waterfalls and hiking trails. They have zip lining, they have tubing down the Chattahoochee River. It's, uh, it's definitely an outdoorsman's paradise here. So if you like hiking, this is, uh, this is definitely a town. If you've not been, you should check out and check out the surrounding areas around there. When we're there this October for our anniversary again, we are actually going to take a day trip over to J, Georgia, which is about an hour away, and they're having an apple festival that's going on during that time, so we want to check that out. The last park we're going to look at here is another state park. This is Providence Canyon State Park. Unfortunately, there's no RV camping here, hence this is why we booked our reservation back in March at Kolomoki Mounds State Park. But since doing that, we have learned that Florence Marina State Park is only seven miles from Providence Canyon, and it does have RV camping. Now, if you're into backpack camping and backcountry camping, 
and tent camping, they do have that and they do offer that and you still do have to make reservations for that from what I understand. But the canyon itself is just, uh, it's amazing and it's hard to believe that it was right here this close to uh, home. This was all formed by bad farming practices basically from what we learned and soil erosion. All the different colors you see in the soil are from different minerals and different uh, fertilizers and, and, and such that was used. So it was pretty hot when we were there, even in March, down at the bottom of the canyon. That is one thing to keep in mind. Um, in the base of the canyon, it does get hotter than it is at the top. And it is quite a bit of a hike. There are different trails that go down through the canyon, and I think one is even as long as seven miles. But you can choose to do shorter hikes, and uh, you can still see all the breathtaking views at the top of the canyon. So if you have never heard of Providence Canyon, it is known as Georgia's Little Grand Canyon, and it is one absolutely must-do, must-see thing to do in Georgia. As Alec grew up in Georgia and never heard of it until just last year. All right, so we hope you found this video useful and helpful, and maybe we've shown you a few places that maybe you've not thought about camping yet. Yeah, definitely it's a fun state to go to to camp. <laughs> yep. If you enjoyed this video, please drop us a big old thumbs up down below. And, uh, leave us a comment. Let us know of some other places that maybe we have not been in Georgia that you have been and that we should check out as well. Yeah, definitely. All right, so we will see you guys next week. All right. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>